Welcome back to my Keep Up channel. We finally fell pregnant, Jack Whitehall is set to become a father for the first time as girlfriend Roxy Horner announces she is expecting a baby following tragic miscarriage. Jack Whitehall and Roxy Horner are expecting their first child together. The comedian, 34, shared the happy news on his Instagram page on Sunday evening, alongside a couple of adorable shots of the couple with a baby scan. In the snaps, a delighted-looking Jack held up a roll of photographs showing a scan of their unborn child, while his girlfriend beaming beside him. Roxy later revealed to Hello she was relieved to finally fall pregnant after the couple tragically suffered a miscarriage last year. In the social media post the model, who was wearing a pretty white summer dress, kept a protective hand on her stomach as she looked over at her beau. Ever the funny man, he captioned the shots, and I thought I wasn't getting enough attention when the dog arrived. Roxy also posted the same images on her own page alongside the words, the best news to share, white heart emoji. Following the announcement, she told the magazine, we had a miscarriage last year and so there was a part of me that was worried to open up too soon about this baby because I was so worried something would happen again and I didn't want to have to kind of tell the world. She went on to reveal the couple discovered they were expecting a baby during a trip with her family to sunny Australia. Saying, it was really lovely because I got to tell my mom pretty much straight away and I don't get to see my parents too often so it was a really perfect moment before he went off on tour. Before adding, we found out the same week, my nan passed away. There's a part of me that feels like my nan knew we were trying for a baby, and maybe this was her gift to us. Messages of congratulations flooded into the couple, with pals including Helen Flanagan, Frida Redknapp and Charlie Howard sending their well wishes. Former Corey actress Helen wrote, OMG, so happy for you guys while Frida Redknapp agreed commenting, so happy for you both. Jack has been dating Roxy for more than two years and they reside in a 17.5 million pounds, five-bedroom home in Notting Hill with their pooch Coco. It comes soon after Jack admitted he was unsure about his path in life after losing some friends to rehab while his other pals have had children. He spoke about his relationship with his girlfriend Roxy as he shared that they have bought a house together. He explained that although he has now settled down with Roxy, he is still unsure about his future plans as he hinted, he has not yet decided if he wants children. Appearing on Wednesday's Capital Breakfast with Roman Kemp, Jack said he has lost friends to rehab and to having babies as he spoke about his own path in life. Speaking to stand-in host Will Manning, he explained, I've settled down, I've got a long-term partner, I bought a house with her, we've got a dog and doing all of that stuff. I don't want to say, my tour, is me raging against the dying of the light, laughs, but it's giving me a sense of this man-child, getting through this moment in my life, losing half my friends to rehab, half of my friends to babies, and trying to find out which path I'm going to take. Jack's new stand-up comedy tour is titled Settle Down and sees him talk about the recent big changes in his life and his struggles to settle down as an adult. A description of the show explains, this is my most personal show yet, with plenty of material about the big changes that have happened in my life. It's about my struggle to settle down gracefully. I've got a long-term partner, a ridiculous dog and am now hurtling towards middle-aged without a clue. It's about a foppish man-child's crack-handed attempt at adulting. His comments come after Jack revealed Roxy collapsed at the Brit Awards in 2021 while he was hosting the ceremony. Roxy revealed that she was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes back in 2021. But before she was diagnosed, Roxy had a health scare and had to be resuscitated by paramedics. Jack told The Sun, we found out she had diabetes the night I was hosting the Brits. She had something called a diabetic hypo and she fainted. Paramedics were trying to resuscitate her and her sugar levels were spiking dangerously. We ended up in A&E on the night of the Brits, which definitely made for a slightly different vibe of an after-party. A hypo, also called hypoglycemia, is a low blood sugar level, and happens when the level of sugar, glucose, in blood drops too low. People who struggle with diabetes need daily injections of insulin to keep your blood glucose levels under control. A low blood sugar level can be dangerous and cause brain death if it's not treated quickly. 
Roxy now wears an electronic device, which monitors her blood glucose level and sends a message and alarm to her and other phones when it is dangerously low. She previously admitted to having a rough time with the condition as she struggled to handle her glucose levels. Opening up to her 199k Instagram followers, she explained, I've been having a really rough time managing my glucose levels the past few weeks, they are yo-yoing for absolutely no reason. I throw up when I go too high, and I've had a few too many hyposh for my liking lately. Source, dailymail.co.uk Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.